Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. And I'm Stephanie. And if you enjoy our show, please like and subscribe. And hit that notification bell. We're also on Instagram at Sidley Twins, and you can also find us on Twitter X. Yep. And thanks to Twitter X and Instagram, I would have never known this last night, but Prince Harry went to the NFL Honor Awards in Las Vegas. Oh, it is the Super Bowl. It's Super Bowl weekend. I mean, of course, WME or whoever's behind it's going to push him in front of some kind of football thing right now because that's what everyone's doing. A Sussex squad on Instagram immediately posts this. And where is this? I, this is in Las Vegas. Mike, it looks like Vegas. Yes. It looks like he's literally inside of a slot machine. I immediately, when I see this, I think of rent a prince. I think <laughs> of rent a royal. I think of hire for royal. I mean, it is so that Max guy that you watch, the Max. Uh, Prince mm, Prince Max, Max or something. Yeah, yeah oh, he's like, definitely in that category. He's now. definitely in that category right now for me, as far as like rent or royals or royals for hire. <laughs> like the hosting positions are up now for him. Like he, he's going to host a game show by him being in Vegas. Kind of throws Stephanie's theory completely out the water about him being summoned to his father's side How for so? his father. Now this is why, and I, and I got it. Tend to agree with this, mom. Had a really good theory okay. and a lot of people on Twitter too. Okay, guys, we should have mom on the show. He knew that he was going to give out this award. Obviously, this was planned in advance. I truly do believe, allegedly, that he did find out about his dad's cancer diagnosis the day we found out. Okay. That's what I truly believe. Okay. okay? And yes, I believe this trip was in haste. I think he hastily went there because in his mind or Megan's mind, because right now, Harry's not firing on all cylinders. But in Megan's mind and the people behind this, they're saying, if he gives out this award mm -hmm. and he didn't go see his dad, this is going to look really bad optics-wise. Okay. So that makes sense why the king was so annoyed, why the helicopter was running and the king was upset because it was wasting fuel. Yeah. He, the king is likes to be on time. Like me, that is that is something like I like somebody will tell you I will freak out like if I'm not on time or if people aren't on time with me. And King Charles is the same way. He doesn't like wasting people's time. And I can see Harry like halfway through the British Airways flight going, I'm on my way, you know, and I'll be there at this time. And it, King Charles being like, OK, well, I'm, I'm going to Sandringham. Mm -hmm. I only have this much time. Be here at this time. And, th and that's why he got 12 minutes. That's what I think happened. Optics wise, Harry had to go. He had to go because in order for him to do this insane spectacle. spectacle, I don't know what this is. So here's a little bit of him trying to be funny. It's very uncomfortable. It's super cringe. Stephanie hasn't seen this. Let me know what you guys think. I really love <laughs> I really love how you uh, you stole rugby from us, and and you made it your own. Instead of passing it backwards, just pass it forwards. Why not wear pads and a helmet? Of course, have an offense and defense. That makes sense. And why not take a breather every 15 seconds? And you know what? Instead of a 10-month season, let's just make it 18 weeks. Genius. That is so uncomfortable. Cringe. Like, I just so uncomfortable. He's trying to be a comedian again. Oh, you know, the body language guy, oh. Jesus, had a really... And I'm a co I'm sorry, guys. I'm a comedy snob. Okay. But no, that was cringe. But that was Even cringe. Even if you're not. I'm a, I, but I am a comedy snob. Wow. Uh, body language guy, Enrique, had a really good point. <sighs> Jesus said that uh, he was very nervous and he was self-soothing with his hands. And I did notice that. And he didn't want to be there. Harry has been famous for saying he does not like doing things like this. He doesn't like giving out awards. And he should have never married Megan Markle. Yeah, exactly. Okay? He even made fun, or was it Megan? I can't remember who was I sort mean, of like <laughs> making light of the fact that they own the royal family unveils plaques. That's all they're good I'm at. So, or, I'm sorry. Or Sussex Squad. I'm sorry, that. but you don't date a Kardashian if you don't want to be in the limelight. Yeah. That is ridiculous. He knew what he was getting into, and now he's there. Yeah. Yeah, he might have been nervous because he's telling a bunch of bad jokes. But wow, that is that is Prince Harry, dude. I know.
he's just trying to be in the in crowd. It yeah. is Super Bowl weekend. Everyone's in Las Vegas. Everybody's in Las Vegas. Okay, right now. Yeah. It is a it's, tough ticket to get right now. The question now. is, are, is he going to be there for the Super Bowl? I think he might. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think Megan and him might. I mean, optics wise, yeah, they probably thought, well, we will do the King Charles thing. And, and hopefully this will make us look better for hanging out and having a fun weekend in Vegas. This is another thing. Well, he sh didn't mention his father in his speech. He should have. Stephanie thinks he should have. He should have. I think he shouldn't have. And I think that he, for himself, as a PR standpoint, he's damned if he does yeah. and he damned I, if I, he doesn't. Mentioning King Charles would have set me off personally because I would have said, how dare you mention your father? I'm saying that he should. I think he had a mic in front of him. He should have said, I just want to thank everybody for all your support with my father. I think it would have backfired. And then end it. I think it would have backfired. I think he should have. Okay. He got on. Listen, he got on the plane. Your theory is that he went for himself. He got on the plane. Yeah. Why doesn't he just acknowledge it now? I don't And go, know. I just want to thank everybody. He's, he's in because positive what, spirit. This is the thing. You are not in the UK in that crowd. You are in a predominantly man, uh, masculine Driven. room full of big, burly football players that tend to lean a certain way, your whole uh, equamundo toxic man thing that Megan and you are attached to makes no sense to that crowd. So that's another thing that people I, were confused about. <laughs> also, he was giving out the Walter Payton Man of the Year Award, which is usually given out by another NFL player. People were just confused. People that don't even have like a horse in this race, as far as the royal family and this Meghan Markle stuff, they were even thinking it was weird as far as like NFL fans. I was seeing a lot of NFL fans offended that, and they were calling, this isn't, this isn't me. This is their words. They said a foreigner is giving out this award mm. to the National Football League. People were offended that it was Prince Harry. There is probably a really good reason why we saw Harry there. And uh, thanks to Megan Smoll for putting this up last night and me seeing this, I probably wouldn't have noticed it. Could Prince Harry be looking to secure a big TV deal for the Invictus Games? Duke of Sussex hires sports TV exec who has overseen live coverage of the Olympics and World Cup as new CEO ahead of first Winter Games in Canada. So he's hooked up with this dude. So that makes more sense to me why he was there. He has now connections. This guy's probably like, well, we need to get him seen. We need to make him more in the sports scene of America because right now people don't, you know, put him in sports in the same category. Yeah, I mean, he tried to be a humanitarian, but that didn't seem to pan out. No, so, of course, work. now he's just trying, you know, whatever it is to make money. And this weekend, the way to make money is through football. Yes. Duh. And publicity. <laughs> well, and football, but dude. But no, this <laughs> makes perfect sense because, it, you know, it just sounds like, you know, this guy's trying to get him gigs being seen in sports. Yeah. So that does Good job, sense. Megan's mole. Yeah, great. Good job. So I don't want to knock the guy who actually got the uh, Walter Payton Man of the Year Award. But I've never heard of this award, by the way. Poor, well, it's it's an award. It's, yeah. it's a pretty prestigious right. award. No, Cam, no, no, I've, I personally have never. I know you personally. Yeah. yeah. Um, Cam Hayward, uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers. He I love won Pittsburgh. The award. I love Pittsburgh. I know Pittsburgh is it's a great. beautiful city. I'd rather be in, in Philadelphia. Philadelphia. He won the award. And he did this really stupid thing where he's like, Prince freaking Harry. Duh. Now, Cam, I have nothing against you. Okay. I made this meme. And um, I thought it was funny. <laughs> it is funny. My wife does voiceovers. That is funny, dude. Yeah. Good I mean, job, man. <laughs> Nancy, I could just picture her in bed last night. Giggling uh, to Giggling myself. to herself, watching uh, the end of the day uh, commentary from, from various news sources. And then she's like, I'm going to make this meme. <laughs> that or Bold and the Beautiful. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. I could yeah. I could have been doing two, yeah. two things. I was a 50-50 It for was me. a 50-50, yeah. <laughs> And you did get it right. It was the news. There was a lot of oh, news good, going good. on last night. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, you know, I'm not going to show a lot of pictures of the night. The official picture that was taken, um, you know, it's nice that they got Prince Harry to look like he's got hair. I'm sure he really appreciated that. So good job, photographer Todd 
Rosenberg. That looks like a very, that's very Bill Swanson-esque. It very, it you know, is, and if yeah. you're from Portland, you know what I'm you talking know. about, but that's very Bill Swanson-esque. Yeah. This, where you can actually see the, uh, <laughs> no, they're still inside the slot machine yeah, at the, this point. The plugs. Yeah. yeah. Then they get disposed out. Yeah. Someone wins the, uh, you know, five bucks. Yeah. And then they go. Seventy was right. He did have the microphone. He did have the podium. He had a chance to say something and what concerned me and Stephanie and everybody else on Twitter last night was why didn't he mention anything with the plight of the Baca people with African parks? He had a room full of celebrities that probably would have been interested in yeah. hearing about this. Mm -hmm. And he was giving away the award for philanthropy. So why not mention it? So I told everybody and, and a lot of other people were like flood the NFL on Twitter with the African parks thing. Cause we have to get the word out. So this is one of the things I felt bad cause I had to do it under cam Hayward's uh, Twitter. Cause he was so proud of getting that award, but he was, Oh man, cam, you had to put that picture up of Harry. So I said, sorry, cam, but we can't let Prince Harry use you to bury this important story. And so I've been using these hashtags guys, because these are the most popular hashtags going around right now. And if you want to get something noticed this weekend, you want to put NFL honors. You want to do hashtag NFL Twitter. You want to do hashtag Super Bowl. And you want to do the hashtag MPMOY. That's the award that was won. If you put those hashtags, then we put the Survival International page that um, people need to sign. And then maybe some pictures like I did. And we just keep flooding Twitter with that. Hopefully somebody will see this because this is another way to bury this African Park story by putting Harry out with these stupid appearances. Well, and also I, I I'm getting so sick and tired of Harry using people as props. And I feel like that was a lot, a lot of what the award was last night, you know? I mean, let's stick Harry in a room full of primarily, and I'm gonna say this, African American males. Yeah. And let's stick him in a room and we're gonna give an award war to um a very great football player who deserved the award, of course. But again, Harry standing side by side. That's optics, guys. Yeah. Harry doesn't give a crap. He doesn't want to be there. He doesn't no. want to be in Las Vegas. He wants to be uh, gallivanting around and, and spending daddy's money. That's what he wants. He's an aristocrat. Yeah. He is an aristocrat. He does not he, want to be there yeah, working. He doesn't want to be he there. He doesn't. And I, I'm getting so sick and tired of him using these, these people and using people as props. You do need to flood the internet, guys. African Parks is still happening. It's trending, which... It was awesome. I woke up this morning. I saw it trending. So uh, that's another thing. Hashtag African parks. But if you have to go back in this video and pause the hashtags that I did, just make sure you stick with Super Bowl and all that stuff because everyone's going to be using those hashtags. So if you do have a Twitter account, let's just make sure that we keep the African park story going and uh, not let Harry get away with this. You know, while he's in Las Vegas giving out awards or whatever and, and have it having a grand old time, whatever he's doing, because he loves Las Vegas, going to yeah. Katy Perry concerts. <laughs> this stuff is still happening, these people. Yeah. We don't, they don't get a day off. No. Okay. They're, no. Their lumber, their, everything's, everything's taken away. They're getting stripped of their life right now. And, and he's in Vegas. Yeah. You know, having a grand old time? No, no. Yeah. Guys, keep hashtagging. And now we know that's why he sharing. went to go see his dad. It wasn't out of the goodness of his heart. He went because he didn't want to get battery was slaughtered summoned last night well i i he wasn't summoned I, well he went there for optics okay that's he fine. went there for optics that's your opinion no that's also, my opinion and everyone else's opinion that's fine okay, so of course we didn't get to the oprah transcripts today uh sorry for that <laughs> we will definitely be doing it sometime this weekend but we will be having a special saturday live tomorrow we're going to be talking about the uh harry trying to spin it that he he won this court case, which it's it's being spun in such an interesting way. We're going to bring that up. We're going to bring up, uh, hey, do you guys want Ethan Hunt or <laughs> Daniel Craig's 007 saving you? Now, I have to say that since the last episode of us talking about Mission Impossible, four. Stephanie has blown I through four. four of them. She has been obsessed. And now you know what I was talking They're about. They're surprisingly easy to get through. 
Yeah. And Sussex Squad was trying to say that Prince William was copying Harry and Meghan trying to get celebrities at his thing. Um, Wait, Tom what? Cruise has known the Wales family for well, years. Tom Cruise was there for the charity. I know. It's, he wasn't there they're for just, Prince they're, William. They're crazy. Tom they're Cruise crazy. doesn't need Allegedly. Uh, Tom Cruise doesn't need PR. Yeah, yeah he doesn't need PR. He's, he's a superstar. Good. He's good. And he also has a very nice home in London. He yeah, actually 70, splits his time. She's a Tom Cruise fan now. She's I'm not been a, watching well, it, man. She is so into Mission Impossible. I'm not, I'm, so, so are you going to watch any tonight? I'm going to watch the second one tonight. I saw the first one in high school with my friend Jeff and Wayne. Okay. So I don't need to see the first one again. I know what happens in the first one, but I'm going to start the second one. Then I'm going to go two, three, um, four is ghost protocol, which I saw last night. Five is rogue, um, rogue nation. nation. And then six is, uh, uh, fallout. And then the seventh, I just saw dead reckoning, but I have to wait now one year. Yeah. One year, guys, because guess when Dead Reckoning 2 is coming out? Okay. May 2025. But, but guys, I'm going to need your help tomorrow because she has not seen any of the Daniel Craig 007 okay. movies. So let's get her into that, too, because right. those are just as good. I know. Also tomorrow, we will be uh, the first half of showing you how to make my famous beer battered onion rings. The first half is making the mix and dipping the onions in, and then dipping you, the onions you freeze them overnight. And then for our Super Bowl spectacular show, Stephanie will be showing you her bean dip, her vegan bean dip. I'm and making kielbasas for mom and dad. Kielbasas for mom and dad. And, With um, sausage and peppers. And then we will also uh, finish off the onion rings. I will be frying the onions. So join us uh, tomorrow to see the first half of making those beer battered <laughs> onion rings. Tomorrow, if you want to make them with me as we go, um, just this is all you're going to need, okay? Nutritionally yeast, all-purpose flour, large sweet onions, if you can get the sweet onions. You can use any kind of onion, but I like the sweet onions. Paprika, baking powder, cayenne pepper, salt, garlic powder, and of course, beer. Now, I use Stella Atois. I like Stella Atois. I think it goes very well with the mixture, but you can use any kind of beer, any kind of like pale beer. Don't use Guinness, obviously, but like any kind of that. And that is the mix you're going to need. You can make it with us. And then what we'll, will we be drinking? <laughs> we'll be drinking beer as well. Oh, no gin. No, no gin. gin. Um, no vodka? No, that we're saving that for the Oprah show. That'll oh, be, okay. Yeah, I have or the maybe gray, Super Bowl I have Sunday, the rest so. of the Grey Goose. Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we got all that Grey Goose. Yeah. We'll make the uh, mixture and we'll dip the onion rings and then we'll freeze them overnight. And then Sunday, if you join us for our Super Bowl, we will we'll fry up the onions and eat them together. It will be a lot of fun. Today's Animal Rescue is Good Bones Dog Rescue. Their mission is to provide leadership and expertise through a network of trained, experienced volunteers to bring into rescue locally and within the east coast of Nova Scotia. Now, I love Canada, so anytime I can highlight a Canadian animal rescue, I will. Please, please go to the description below. I will put their link, check them out, pass it on to friends and family really helps guys and they're doing some incredible work yeah let's share that and share african parks yeah let's and do we, it as a team as a team we're effort. a team and we will see you tomorrow on our live and we can't wait to uh have you guys join the chat with us we love it when you guys are with us yeah it's low it's lonely without you with it kind of is with, <laughs> this, with just this one yeah with just this one seth's got to go watch mission impossible this though. one over here yeah <laughs> how megan what did megan say she always went she went and oh, this, and this, this one. one, and this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. This one. Be married <laughs> to this one. I'm married to this one. <laughs> okay. Bye, All right, guys. Love you.